Hey guys, it's Regent here and today I'm gonna show you how you can tame the Ichthyosaurus in Arx. So let's go! So first of all, the taming stats. It's a passive tame, so we don't have to knock it out, but as food we can use kibble, raw mutton or for example normal meat. It can be carried by a Megalosaur, a Procoptodon, a Caprozucus and the Tuzo. It spawns on all maps except Scorched Earth, Aberration and Extinction and the difficulty is 1 out of 5 points. So let's start! So I'm currently on Fjordo in the ocean and but don't worry Ictis are almost in every single ocean so you can find them very easily. Um, yeah if you find them just approach them slowly so they will come to you. They will automatically come to you if uh, you are close to them and then you see already put, put taming food in the last item slot to feed. So we take our raw mutton and start feeding it. This is a level 95. And it wasn't first try. I've uh, increased taming rates obviously on the server. and But yeah. You can also tame multiple at once. There's for example the 151. Or multi uh, yeah. uh, this one was for example first try. And sometimes as you see they start swimming away while you tame them. Um, so it is a little bit easier if you have a tamed di uh, Ichi itched here around you because they will stick together because they they get attracted by f other creatures so if you have a creature that is tamed in the water they will like you see they are like interacting with each other and this increases the chances that the icti will stay and not walk away but don't worry they're not that hard to catch they're not gonna just start and go off uh, into the in the deep ocean or something they will come back after some times so it's just a it's a question of time. If you have already an Icti, for example, you can just also go and chase them. And sometimes you see they're getting stuck on some obstacle here. Then it is also very easy to just start taming them. And you see we already <laughs> tamed multiple of them. Th so it's not that hard. Just take some meat with you. Obviously the better the food, for example kibble, is much much quicker than if you would use normal meat. So then let's talk about his abilities. First of all, it's the quickest water dinosaur, I would say. Um, so yeah, nothing is quicker in the water than the Icti. So you can't get killed by anything if you dodge everything, obviously. This comes with the cost that it has very low health. For example, this is a 225 one and it has only eight, like 720 um, health. So this is not that much like if you get multiple hits you will uh, quickly die so make sure to give def definitely some skill points into health here and also you can ride and use weapons what makes that makes it very strong to tame other dinos here for example if you want to get a manta or something then you are very good to go here since you are quick and you can also tame a megalodon with this strategy here just go ahead and hit it and yeah you can just outrun this guy every time. And what makes the HT also very very strong is that you can't get torpor damage with him. So you can't get knocked out while killing for example these little guys. The Eurotripids, I hope I pronounced them right. So I'm in a bad angle right now. So you can easily farm them without getting torpored because otherwise your dino will get torpor from these guys. See it's still a little bit tricky to reach them but normally you would quickly get knocked out by these guys here. So you can easily farm Chitin, Silica Plus, Purse and Black Purse with your HD. Especially in early game this is very very strong. So that's already the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. If you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.